<laughs> it's Cafe Mocha. We are talking to In Vogue. Cindy Heron and Terry Ellis just won yeah. their lawsuit. It's been bittersweet. We've been talking about the, the and great they, divide. they're still doing shows. They're still yes. out there. Have you heard from Maxine or, or Don since the arbitration, since the, the hearing? No. Do you, no. I mean, I don't mean to be all, you know, silly and fairy taleish, but do you think at some point maybe you guys can kiss and make up? Well, here's the thing. Cindy, it was never a fight for Cindy and I. Hmm. We're not angry right. with them. Right. Not even after all of the negative things that they've said. Um, we're not angry mm -hmm. because it wasn't our fight. Right. The door has never been shut. Mm -hmm. we've, we've only wanted to just continue to work. Mm. And 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 to further answer answer that question, I do. I think that there 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 will be a day when we, you know, we we. But like she said, the door would always be open. You know. And if they ever decided they wanted to come back and work, I think if, if everybody's heart was right, you know, and the business was right, I think that we could work again. Well, I'd never say uh, never. Cause... Offer a reality show with you ladies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be good. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm pitching it. I'm pitching it. A reality show, put them other two halfers. You know, we've, we've best... had so many offers. Mm -hmm. Really? We've had a lot of had offers. offers. It just... But, you know, the, uh, if we ever did a reality show with the four of us, we would have wanted it really to be a positive experience. We, mm -hmm. didn't, we wouldn't ever want it to be a train wreck, you know. Um, and I'm sure welcome. that would be good for some people. I'm sure some folks would love to see it. But we would, we would hope. <laughs> Could it be half <laughs> train wreck and then half yeah. keeping it positive? I mean, I don't, is that possible? Balance, nice balance. Balance. Is possible? <laughs> we just want to get y'all together, man. It's just, I, I got let me Let me get on Twitter. And start a, a campaign. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, <laughs> write a note, Angelique. I'm getting on um, Twitter. At the end of the day, it's you know, the the, the if you are able to work, mm -hmm. right, um, and get paid. Explain how hard it is to be because a lot of groups like you guys, you know, remember Brownstone? Remember all those groups mm -hmm. when y'all came In the out 90s, yeah. and they not nowhere around. Right, y'all still here. So it's not easy to sit back and say, yeah, we can still fill an arena. I mean, that's that just shows you the talent that you guys have, the longevity. So this is why it's disappointing to us, even as fans, because it's a lot of groups are no longer even existing. They can't even yeah. sell a ticket. I, I can totally understand that. I mean, it's, like I said, it's not, it's, it's sad. It's a mm -hmm. sad moment for us. And when I sit at home and I'm thinking, what happened? Mm-hmm. Why? You know, I'm thinking from a fan's perspective as well, because mm -hmm. I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. right. And which is why my intention was always set that, first of all, this is a blessing. I'm grateful. Mm -hmm. I'm able to work and, and make some money, take care of myself and my family. Mm -hmm. Anything else beyond that, it doesn't matter. Wow. It doesn't matter. Right. If you're letting something else come in and infiltrate all that, you got to check you. Right. It's Cafe Mocha, live in studio in Vogue is with us, and I'm trying to find a way. <laughs> get, a, get the family. <laughs> get the crew. Maybe I can throw on a wig. I can play Maxine. <laughs> Do you think it's just a chick thing? I mean, because, you know, especially now when you watch the reality shows, you would think we just cannot ex coexist in the same plane together. Is it is it a chick thing? You know what? Honestly, I don't know because I'm a chick. Mm -hmm. And I don't have, it's, it's hard for me to speak from that perspective because I do not allow myself to have those kind of issues. It's a choice. Mm. Mm. At the end of the day, it's a choice. It's a decision. I'm going to work. If I got an issue with you or you got an issue with me, if my intention is that I'm coming to work to get a paycheck, to take care of myself and my family, mm -hmm. you, whatever that is, doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. You guys have been together for a long time, so you must have some insight that you are not sharing about why she just went over the deep end and decided she wanted to... Because now she makes no money. Well, she's been doing shows. She's been booking shows as... Maxine. The In Vogue Review? Oh. More of something like that. Yeah, yeah changing the name. Because that's what they did like with The Temptations. Right. The Temptations... Train or something. Don't know if I want to see. Let me just be clear though. Dawn and Max, they did do a show together. They 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 reunited earlier this year, and they did do a show um, 
for inauguration weekend. It was in two shows in D.C. Okay. But um, we're not quite sure exactly what happened, but they parted ways. And okay. now Max does have oh. her own In Vogue group. And she's been booking shows as In Vogue or In Vogue to the Max. Or oh, okay. legally she can use the name as, in, as, as Maxine Jones, formerly of In Vogue. Okay. But she has been booking shows as In Vogue and In Vogue to the Max. Oh, okay. Too. okay. And so she's got her own group with three other girls. Oh. And um, and they have been booking shows too. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So, but we we constantly book shows and, and um, you know we do a lot of stuff outside of the group too. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. in my spare time when I have spare time, I, I do a lot of acting. So um, oh, really? just Easter weekend, we wrapped up a play um, called The Passion Play. It's a musical. It's an awesome musical with a, 150 it. people in the cast. It's amazing. It's wow. it, it really is a great. It's directed by uh, Chip Hurd. Yes. Um, Chip. Fields heard, yes. Yeah. Um, and Tootie's mom. Yes. <laughs> and, and in fact, um, she's also next in the studio next door. Right. I was here earlier today doing the Bible experience, too. Okay. So um, that's another project that I'd worked on. And then in February, I, I worked on a pilot that's being shopped right now. Right. Hopefully. Oh, that's right. nice. So, yes. um, and, you know, and then also I've got... Um, 49 kids. <laughs> you 12 girl. animals. <laughs> I, I, I have four kids and six animals. Seriously. Yeah, you look great. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> and um, so, um, and then we do a lot of shows. We, in fact, we have a show coming up in, in during the summer. We've been op- trying to expand our our um, audience base, and mm-hmm. so we've been doing symphony dates too. If you can imagine that, like oh, our whole oh, show yeah, with a symphony awesome. behind us. Oh, so wow. the next oh, date will be beautiful. in July, I believe, July twenty first and twenty second with the San Diego Symphony. Nice, and and that's fun because we get to do yeah, all of our music, but we also get to add right. really great um, pieces to. Cindy, I just, um, we've been in rehearsals learning this song, Uh an aria called uh, Lachme, the flower duet, in French. Nice. (laughs) And um, we're supposed to be recording it with Yanni. Oh, my goodness. We need to hear back from him now. So, some really good things going on. 